Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. For about eight years, Versace Eros has enjoyed a presence in a tremendous amount of men's rotation, fragrance rotation, including myself and possibly even yours. But now there is an announcement of a new Eros, an Eros Eau de Parfum, that is going to be released, not necessarily here in the US right now anyway, but definitely in Europe and a lot of people are talking about it and it's caused a little bit of ruckus. So when we return, we're going to talk about the new Eros EDP, that and more, so stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. Just like the beloved movie titles like Star Wars or Indiana Jones or anything like that that hits the box office and becomes tremendously popular, when a sequel is announced, everybody gets a little bit nervous because they're like, oh man, they're just gonna ruin something that I really, really like. Why don't they just leave it alone? Or there's that old maxim, if it's not broken, don't fix it. I, for one, really do like Eros EDT. I still think it's a really viable fragrance today. For some reason, it reminds me of being in a mansion. Uh, we actually have something called Biltmore that's not too far away. It's, uh, it's in Asheville, North Carolina. And the Biltmore is an estate, it is in a mansion, it's huge. And there's a swimming pool in there that was gonna be refurbished. And when you'd walk into that area, it would just smell like different textiles, like grout and like tile, the glue that they use, all these various strong scents and aromas coming at you all at once. And it kind of reminds me, and the glass that was used to separate the partition of the swimming pool and the rest of the house, kind of remind me of kind of like a vignette or motif that was very similar to the Greek, like the Greek architecture, the Greek style, that is reminiscent of the style used on the Versace bottle, which I absolutely really like the presentation. So for some reason, it reminds me of that. Now with the announcement of the new Eros EDP, a lot of people might be feeling a little bit the same way. Today's video is all about just a, a brief discussion of the Eros EDP and how it differs from the original that was created in 2012 and what their similarities are. So let's go ahead and take a look at the new Eros EDP. Now, a couple of days ago, a video was released and it features Olivier Pachou, he is the perfumist for the new Eros. I really respect his work. He's done a ton of different fragrances that are just fantastic. Really happy to see that he was the one structuring the formula. And in this video, it talks a little bit about the fragrance itself, a little bit about the ideology behind it, and some of the actual fragrant notes that are gonna be in it. Before the notes were released to the public, I even looked up what looked to be geranium, at least in this app that you can take a picture of a plant and it tells you what it is. It said it was rose geranium, although that's not an official listing in the notes, but at least geranium, it was correct. So those that are worried about it straying too far from the original needn't worry at all. It looks like it's just gonna be a modernization of the original formula. What does that mean? A lot of the same notes are gonna make an appearance and some other notes that are a little bit richer and deeper and more complex are gonna be added to make it a basic eau de parfum. We all have an expectation of an eau de parfum of being very rich, very deep. Of course, the concentration of oils are much greater in an eau de parfum than they are in an eau de toilette. And it's quite possible that the addition of an aroma chemical like Amber Max in the new Eros is gonna create a better sillage trail and better, longer lasting eau de parfum fragrance. So let's take a closer look at the notes and we'll do a little bit of a comparison from the EDT to the EDP. I try as much as possible not to read information to you guys because I want to be like engaging like it's a conversation but in this case I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit of what was actually in the press release for the fragrance to give you an idea of what the idea behind Eros EDP and of course the note listing. Eros Versace Eau de Parfum, the new masculine fragrance is about sensuality and power. Not afraid to show off, to reveal its extremes. It brings a new facet of the original Eros in Eau de Toilette, now in Eau de Parfum concentration, more daring and powerful. A growth of power in the mythical universe of Versace for men that manifests itself without filters, an element of charm that highlights love, passion, beauty, and seduction. And it continues to talk about the notes, and this is where we're gonna to start to do the comparison, because if you remember, the original e Eros had in the top, it had like mint, Italian lemon, and green apple. In the mid, it had, I think, tonka, geranium, and ambroxan. In the base, it had vanilla, two cedars, atlas, and Virginia cedar. And then it had oak moss, 
and vetiver. And that comprised the entire formula for Versace Eros. Now let's take a look at the EDP. A new chapter based on the depth of its woody cedar vetiver patchouli accord enlivened by the blazing and energetic light of the duality of lemon and mandarin strictly Italian and animated by an unprecedented candied apple note. So they're making a big deal out of the candied apple note. So it's not green apple, it's candied apple. So if you ever went to a fair or a carnival as a kid, you got a candy apple. There you go. Got a little bit of memory hook there. They continue, the decadence of vanilla dares to flirt with leather in the final note, a fatal and provocative weapon to stand out with intoxicating and creamy effects with vibrant contours reinforcing its oriental character. And lastly, more about the notes. The fragrance is woody, oriental, and fresh. The top notes vibrate thanks to Italian lemons and mandarins, the essence of crespa mint, just spearmint, and candied apple. The heart of the perfume expands in the geranium flower, in the essence of salvia scalaria, which is clary sage, and in the amber max. Amber max is a aroma chemical that's slightly woody, but very intense. To close the woody base notes of Virginia Cedar, the Essence Vetiver or Pure, Vetiver, the Essence Patchouli, Bitter Orange Care or Pure, Sandalwood, and Vanilla. So there you have it. In the base, you've got uh, Virginia Cedar, Vetiver or Pure, or Vetiver Essence, Essence of Patchouli, Bitter Orange, Sandalwood, and Vanilla. Rounding it out. So there are some differences. You've got the addition of Bitter Orange, you've got the addition of Candied Apple, removing the Ambroxan and replacing it with Amber Max. So the expectation that it's going to be a deeper, richer version sounds very true. Now think about Versace's history. Have they ever released a perfume that was just crazy challenging? No, they stayed within relatively safe zones. So you know they're not going to stray super far from the original EDT formula for Eros. After all, Eros has created an eight-year history, finally releasing an EDP. They're definitely going to want it to stand tall to the original and set a precedent for itself. So I, for one, am a big fan of Eros. I'm actually looking forward to an Eau de Parfum. Now, why did they decide to release an Eau de Parfum eight years later? Who knows? Maybe it's because they feel like it's time to reinvigorate, refresh, and renew or rebrand their IP. Whatever the case may be, I'm positive about it. I'm looking forward to it. Now, of course, it's releasing in Europe first, as are most fragrances that are European based. We're not sure when there's going to be a US release, but that will be announced hopefully in the near future. Something, though, you can look forward to in the advertising campaign that's going to be featured. Here is a glorious image dominated by a virile and vigorous man, the perfection of the male form form immortalized in all its plasticity plasticity so I guess they're gonna use the only plastic model I know is Ken doll so I guess that's gonna be the new model for Versace Eros EDP he's rocking out that backpack has multiple outfits so you can interchange and he comes with his own little miniature Eros EDP no, just kidding. It's some chiseled looking dude. Model Brian Sheminsky, if you're interested at all in knowing. I put in a request to be the model, but they denied it. Again, personally, I'm a big fan of Oliver Pichu's work, and I'm really looking forward to Eros EDP. And of course, if any of you are interested in purchasing either Flame EDP or Eros EDT, I will leave a link in the description below where you can actually grab yourself a bottle. Also in the description below is a link that you can watch the brief statement and or beautiful video about the idea behind Eros, a little bit of the idea and a little bit of the notes that are gonna be in it. Really enjoyed that. It's just very brief. It's just a couple minutes long, maybe five, six minutes long. Uh, and it ends with a really nice visual shot of Versace Eros Eau de Parfum. I'm really happy to see that they're keeping the presentation because I love this bottle and the coloring and the bottle itself is just very iconic and classic Versace. And I'm happy that they're not straying far from either the formula or the presentation itself. So that's always good news. Well, that's it for today's video. Just short and sweet. Wanted to talk a little bit about Versace's Eros EDP, give you my feedback on that. I am very much looking forward to it and hopefully you are too. I want to make mention, don't forget to check the description below. I have put my footprint for social media. I do have an Instagram page. I do have a TikTok. I've got a Twitter. Some of those are fairly new, so, so there's not a ton of content. 
but I am adding content to them daily. So if you're a fan of any of those social media platforms, make sure to follow, like, subscribe, and I'll try to put some really interesting content out there for you. Really appreciate you stopping by, spending a little bit of time with me. As always, thank you so much for your support of my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.